Welcome back to my channel, everybody. Hello, 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 hello. My name is Marlene for those who have not been to my channel before. And if you haven't, I hope you stick around, subscribe, and like this video. So today I have a Target cleaning product haul. I was running low on a lot of my products. As you guys know, I moved to this house not that long ago, so I ended up cleaning the entire house, renovating the entire house, well, the, the entire kitchen, and the entire house was dusty, so I re-cleaned the entire house, and uh, yeah, all of my products were gone. I know some of you guys know that uh, one of my favorite things to use, especially for the dishwasher, is my Thieves Young Living. Um, I don't have that here. Yeah, I should have brought that. I like to use that, and I like to use the Thieves All Purpose Cleaner. Now, I don't use it every day. If you're like me, you get bored of the scent. Um, I like to change my cleaning scents depending on the season or like on the day, I guess. Um, Thieves is a smell, it's like an earthy smell, so I really enjoy it during the fall season. It's about to be spring now, so I got some other cleaning products. So let's start here. Alright, I, I still have some of the Method bathroom cleaners. Sorry, method. But I don't like my bathroom smelling like toothpaste. So I do not enjoy the method cleaner for the bathrooms. Like, I really dislike the smell of it. I don't feel like I'm cleaning. I feel like I'm brushing my teeth. I don't like the smell of it. So I am trying the Mrs. Myers uh, tub and tile for the lavender scent. Now this one, they only have it in two different scents. I like both scents. I've used their all purpose cleaner. Um, so I know I'm going to like this. Now, let's see how it does in the cleaning part. So I got this and I got the toilet bowl cleaner as well. So this is it here. And this is the tub and tile. So I'm planning to go over my tubs with this, and I do have the Method Everyday Tub Spray. That doesn't smell like toothpaste, so I like using that one. And it does a pretty good job of keeping my tub sort of clean for a longer amount of time. Staying in the bathroom. If you saw my morning uh, cleaning routine, I'm going to link it down below. Uh, if you haven't, go ahead and check it out. I do a morning routine. And I like to keep my bathroom as clean as possible every single day. So like that, when it comes towards my weekly cleaning routine, I don't have to go and do like a really hard job with it. So one of the things I do is I like to wipe down my sink every morning. I do not like toothpaste lingering around. My kids love leaving toothpaste. I don't know if they're even brushing their teeth sometimes because there's toothpaste all over the sink. So I like to go around with the old purpose or an or a disinfecting wipe. I like the method um, old purpose. If you want to stick to Mrs. Meyer, Mrs. Myers has one. But I bought two, one for each bathroom because I was using the other ones that had way too much chemicals and it's just really hard on my hands. My hands were getting dried. My eczema was flaring up. So I decided, okay, I need to go run for these. So I got two of the big jars keep one in each bathroom staying in the bathroom I decided I do have the Clorox <clears throat> bathroom scrubber uh, but I only have it in the boys bathroom so I saw this one from Scrubbing Bubbles. I'm going to go ahead and try this one. Uh, it doesn't pick up any space at all. It looks so small. It looks even smaller than the Clorox one. 
It comes with the wand, eight pads, and one stand. And it's like a couple of bucks, maybe like two dollars less than the Clorox one. I don't know, but if I could save 50 cents, I'm going to save it. So I got the scrubbing bubbles, and I'm going to keep this one in my bathroom. I had the, I had like a regular bathroom brush thingy to clean the bathroom. I, I've never used that. Um, I don't like using that. I feel like once you put it back, it's going to grow mold and bleh, and bleh, and bleh. Yeah, no. Off to laundry. I did laundry yesterday. And I tried the Thieves from Young Living. I tried the Thieves laundry detergent. It cleans my clothes. And it's just a very small bottle and it's very concentrated. Uh, so I pour like half of the top and then I pour like two full cap full of water and it did a pretty good job washing my clothes like my clothes didn't smell like anything so I went ahead and got these wool dry balls I'll drop like a couple of essential oils on these and pop it in the dryer with my clothes. Now, I don't dry all my clothes. If you see my laundry, these are the, they're just made out of wool. I don't know if you guys seen that everywhere. Um, I don't dry all my clothes, so I do need something that smells at least a little bit nice for the clothes that I don't dry. I don't dry my gym leggings because the elastic, when you, um, when you tend to dry them, the elasticity of your leggings do wear off over time. So I don't dry my leggings. I do not dry my sport bras. None of my gym clothes, actually, now that I think about it. I don't dry any of my gym clothes. I don't dry any of my oldest son clothes. I feel like man clothes tend to shrink when I wash them. Um, and I don't dry a lot of my fiance's clothes what I do is I wash all of my clothes no matter what clothes it is except my white clothes in cold water I remove all of the clothes that I don't dry and I hang them downstairs by the laundry room and I wash and I dry what I end up drying so that is my laundry routine I hate laundry so usually when it's laundry time I do have a whole load of stuff to dry so yeah that was yesterday I'll still keep on using the Thieves laundry detergent, um, but I am buying some containers so I could divide them into three because I know that I'm going to end up using it too quick because I'm the type of person that if my washer says max, I'm going to max out with my soap. Are you like that? Because I am. I max out to the tippy tippy top. And I also grew up with um, my, the laundry, the washer that uh, the doors were on the top. So you were able to soak your clothes. Um, my washer and dryer has the front door that you open. I don't know, I'm thinking in the future to invest on one that has the door on the top because I like to soak my clothes. I love my clothes to have a lot of soapy <laughs> laundry. Like, I like to see the soap on my clothes. I feel like I'm not washing my clothes when it looks like it's still just tumbling around the washer and it's just semi-wet. Like, I don't know how to explain it. I feel like my clothes are not being washed. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Louie has been going outside with our next door neighbor's son, and you can imagine his clothes when he gets home. It's a disaster. A disaster. Like, I cleaned the other day, and 
I showed in one of my videos um, all the grass stain that he was able to miraculously find outside because it's winter out here. And I washed those pants yesterday. They're, they're still stained. So I got this method stain remover. It's like a spot. So you just put it on the stain. So I'm going to try this. I've never used this before. It's dirty. It has like a little brush thing. So I'm going to try this. Um, I'm going to wait for him to get home from school. I'll probably do this um, in the weekend because <coughs> I do need to wash his backpack as well. So I'll keep you guys updated on this. If I sound a little raspy, <coughs> I woke up with a sore throat, guys. My kids are literally killing me. Like I said about the thieves detergent, I'm not so like, oh, I like the smell so much. No, you know. If you grew up doing laundry with Tide and Downy, you know how amazing your clothes smell after you wash it. So that's what I'm looking for, but just in a greener version. So I got this laundry <coughs> from Method. It's the laundry detergent from Method. It's the Fresh Air Air Fair. Air Phrase. Ooh, that's it. Fresh Air. And they had three different ones. They had one that was like mango. I don't want my clothes to smell fruity. And they had another one, but it didn't smell that well. Now, I did get this one, but oh, it smells amazing. It reminds me of oh, fresh air. I, I don't know. It's so good. Like, when you guys go to Target, pick one up because it smells amazing. So, I got this one. It smells a little bit like Tide, actually, now that I think about it. So, I got this one. Now, they didn't have uh, the clothes softener for this smell, so I didn't get any softener. Uh, but I'll just do the wool with the essential oil when I'm drying the clothes. So, I don't have an issue with that. Your clothes are still going to get soft when they dry anyway, so you don't really need softener. They're just trying to steal your money, guys. So I got that. I am running low on my dish soap. Spring is in the air. Almost. I got the peony scent. I love this scent. It smells so good. Again, I'm going to talk about my thief. You know, thief is something that I know that is like the greenest I found so far. Because, you know, Method and Mrs. Meyer still have some sort of chemicals uh, in their products, but Method, but uh, sorry, thief does not. And that's what I was looking for. I'm looking for something that's like absolutely 100% green. Or as green as it can get. But I did try the Thieves dish soap. Again, with like the laundry. Like I like it to have a lot of soap. I like a lot of suds. I like feeling that I'm washing my dishes. And Thieves wasn't doing that. With that, I want to add that I did do one of those Pinterest uh, pins where I wanted to go ahead and stretch my dishwashing soap, which could be the reason why it wasn't being soapy and it was extremely watery. It doesn't. So I, t I ended up using way too many of it. So instead, what I was doing was I was using that as my spot the stain spot remover uh, so I was just putting some of my feet dishwashing soap on it and it was doing the job didn't do the job on the pants because I didn't even try it but anyway so that's what I was doing with that one I would still keep it and use it as a stain spot remover I don't know uh, but again it's a very it's pretty pricey I think it's like between seven and fourteen bucks, it's like really expensive. But the dish soap, amazing, amazing, amazing. Like, I don't buy any other dish soap besides the thieves. And then, 
last but not least, I got the multi-surface everyday cleaner from Mrs. Myers in the Peony scent as well because I want my whole house to smell like flowers. This was amazing. I remember my sister was here last last year and she was so hooked on all of my cleaning products and this is what I had. I had Mrs. Myers cleaning products. And she would use, like, this girl doesn't like cleaning. At all. Like, nothing. She hates cleaning. I mean, she would clean my house. How odd. I'm okay with that. You could come back. I got Mrs. Myers again, girl. So that's all I got for cleaning products. I did stop at the dollar spot in Target because you know you go to Target, you gotta go to the dollar spot. They were restocking a lot of things for the spring, so I wasn't lucky enough to find a lot of stuff. So I just bought two things. <clears throat> All my plants die. I'm not a very good gardener. But, I'll try again this year. I got these cute garden gardening gloves. Look how cute. I think they're so cute. I'm planning to like have two to four vegetable beds on one side of my backyard. My backyard is huge, so I want to go ahead and be as sustainable as I can during the summer at least. It's almost gardening season, so I'm going to go ahead and use these. Obviously, they're not the best or like the best gardening gloves. I mean, they were from the dollar spot, but they were, I think they were $5. Yep, $5. I'm giving them a try. I like them. They're so cute. And then I got a matching little shovel. And that's all I got from the dollar spot. And this was also five. Oh, this was three dollars actually. Yeah. And then if you want to go ahead and give it as a gift, it does have a like to and from. My neighbors, they really like gardening and they're really good at it. So I might go ahead and pick some of these up and like put it in a little Easter basket for her and give this as like an Easter present for her. I might go ahead and go back once they stock the entire dollar spot. Yeah. Let's do this. So one last time, this is everything I picked up. All my cleaning products. Well, guys, there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and to like this video. I did uh, have a giveaway announcement in my last video. If you haven't, check that out. Go ahead and check it out. I will link it down below on the description box. So you guys can have a chance to win a Target gift card. There will be two winners, as I mentioned, uh, and they're each $50 gift card. Go check it out because you can have a chance to win a gift card from Target. And we all go to Target. We all have a Target nearby. So go ahead and check it out. That's all for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for coming back. Thank you so much for watching this video if it's your first time. As I mentioned before, don't forget to subscribe and to like this video. Till next time. Bye.